Today we're going to be applying what we know about percent problems into kind of real world type of percent problems because very rarely are you going to have someone come up to you and say, what is 12% of 500? Um, but these types of problems we're going to go through today um, are going to help you solve more realistic types of problems. So we have to remember what we learned previously with our um, keywords that we're going to look for. So we have what is going to be x. Anytime it says is, I'm going to write an equal sign, and of tells us to multiply. Now I'm going to have you switch up this little piece down here a little bit to kind of simplify it for ourselves. Now remember, percent is kind of always the percent of a whole, um, or a part of a whole. So we're going to use that understanding to help us write a new equation for more realistic, real-world percent problems. Um, it's going to be a lot like this percent equation, um, but it's going to give us a little bit more to go on. So what, I, what I'd like you to use when I give you these applications is you're going to take the percent of the whole amount is the part. So remember this of means to multiply and the is means equals. So the percent times the whole equals the part. This is going to be what we're going to keep coming back to anytime we solve a percent application problem. Okay, so let's try these examples. So down here I've written that percent equation we just went through, and these are those word problems. And we're anytime I give you a percent problem, I want you to use those three things to help you solve for the percent. So I'm going to actually write percent WP on the side of this problem to kind of signify that I need to find those three things in this problem. So it's an upcoming science test worth 75 points. So right away, that's my total amount. So that's going to go for W. That's my whole amount. It's a 75-point test. How many points do I need to earn? There's my question if I want an 80%. So the percent is always the easiest thing to find. But remember, you need to keep that as a unit rate. Okay, don't just write 80. You need to change that to a decimal, so 0.80. Now this part, how much do I need to earn? That's what's missing, so I'm gonna write an X. Now I'm gonna come down to my percent uh, equation here. The percent times the whole equals the part, and I'm gonna plug everything in. So I have 0 0.80, my percent, times my whole amount is 75, equals I don't know. Okay, X is all by itself, so I'm just gonna multiply those two things together. 0.8 times 75 gives me 60 points. And that makes sense for the problem. I need to get 60 points out of 75 if I want an 80% or a B minus on this test. All right, let's try the next one. So again, I'm solving a percent application problem. So I'm going to write percent WP. Those are the three things I need to find. And I start off by it says I have 1,800 students at PR. That's a whole amount. That's a total amount. And then on Friday day, I have Friday day, Friday spirit day, I have 990 kids that wear school colors. So that's my partial amount. That's the part of the student body that wore spirit wear. And they're asking me this time, what is the percent? So that's what I'm missing. Again, I'm going to plug all that information into my, my formula here. So I have the percent times the whole amount equals the part. And this time it's not as easy. X is not by itself. So I'm going to have to solve this equation. I'm going to do the opposite. Divide by 1,800 on both sides. So I'm left with 0.55. Now that doesn't quite make sense to me, but let's look back at what they were asking me for. They're asking me for a percent. So I'm going to convert that to a percent, which is 55%. Now it makes sense. 55% of the student body wore spirit wear on that Friday. All right, this last one I'm actually going to have you skipped and try some of the other problems um, in your little quiz.